Hello, collective. Welcome back to the Ascended Divination Priestess channel. You are greatly appreciated. Uh, so there's a group that's fighting. I don't know if it's in like a court case, a court system, because something is being balanced out. Uh, maybe have maybe a group that trapped themselves and something shocking is really taking place behind the scenes. And you may not be aware of whatever this shocking event is that's taking place behind the scenes. Um, but your ancestors are telling you to pay attention. Something will be revealed to you. But there's some type of uh, uh, conflict that's going on behind the scenes amongst a group of people that just have some type of agenda to keep being a nuisance to other people. I'm telling you, there's some type of shocking event, some type of conflict. Oh my gosh. There's some type of conflict going on behind the scenes, but let's go ahead and say our prayers so we can get into this read. Thank you for watching the Ascended Divination Priestess channel. You are greatly appreciated. I am sending you all lots of love, joy, peace, and happiness. Many, many blessings to you and your families. As always, I return to source. I return to sender. All negative energies and intent immediately and permanently. I call in only the purest of white light and pray that you stay only in the highest of vibrational energies. Whatever the enemy has stolen from you, it is returned to you, um, being returned to you as we speak. Okay? All evil and negative plans of the enemies against you are dismantled and being dismantled as we speak. As I have said, so shall it be. The judgment is final. So as I said, there's some type of shocking event that's taking on taking place behind the scenes. There's a lot of conflict just taking place I don't, I don't know how to put that but it's a lot of conflict taking place behind the scenes there was some type of attempt to block or trap someone within a situation um a while back and i haven't been wanting to touch on this topic but there's something where i picked up on is like uh, a group of masculines got together and planned something very meticulously against a queen of cups a uh, queen of source energy right you may be someone that's predominantly within your queen of source energies because of some type of experience that you've had or uh, multiple experiences that you've been having so it has kind of forced you to be within that queen of source energy but there were a group of ma masculine karmic masculines that got together came up with some type of plan it's like these masculines want to humble you they want to take you down maybe you're the uh the, the mountain that they haven't been able to conquer and it pisses them off um but there was some type of plot to dishonor you um there was going to be something done by like gang banging or something excuse my language um but i'm just trying to uh you know tell what it is i was picking up on and i didn't really want to pick up on that that's a very sensitive topic but basically it was a, a plot to dishonor someone so it, it was going to be they set up this event whether it was some type of reunion or some type of a uh, work event uh, uh, uh some type, just some type of public event that was supposed to be taking place or some type of career event that was supposed to be taking place you were supposed to show up and something horrendous was supposed to take place the event was not real it was not genuine this was a group that came together to plot this is that we are going to do this step by step and you all keep making sure you're checking in on her you're asking how she's doing call her from time to time text her from time to time to see how she's doing um and on this day this specific date we are going to make sure that she shows up here and we're going to take care of business right you're going to take care of business um so what they will have been doing on your end is calling you you know, sporadically, it may have even gotten closer. Uh, the the calls may have gotten closer as the time came by, and they will have started calling you a little bit more, a little bit more, or just interacting with you in some way a little bit more frequently, right? Um, but the event would have been something they planned behind the scenes that like they knew this event was going to take place on that day. But they would have, like you know, <clears throat> maybe towards like the end. Um, maybe like a week before the event, maybe like three days before the event, because they wanted to look genuine. They may say, oh, we we have to do this real quickly. You know, we, we didn't have time to plan or something like that, right? Or they may have done it in a subtle way where it's like, hey, we're going to have this event next week. You want to come, blah, 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 blah. Um, but you didn't show up or something just told you not to show up. Like maybe you felt uncomfortable. And that's why I always tell people... <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> they don't want to come in out, huh? <laughs> they don't want to come in out. Excuse me, let me get a drink of water. Like my throat 
As, as soon as I started talking about this, my throat got dry. <clears throat> um, as soon as <clears throat> there's something, excuse me, Lord Jesus, as soon as I started talking about this, my throat, <clears throat> <clears throat> excuse me, anyways, it would have been something where it was made to look like it was something authentic, uh, an authentic event that you were supposed to attend. But this is why I always tell people, listen to your intuition. I don't care what it is. Like your life is more important than anything else. More important than a job. More important than a relationship. Okay. So if something is telling you not to go somewhere, don't go anywhere. It's not the end of the world that you missed an event or you missed a meeting with someone. The universe always has something for you, okay? Um, so it would have been something where it's that they were expecting you to show up and they were going to take care of their business with you. It may have even been something where it's that they were plotting to, you know, dishonor you and then videotape or record, have some type of image of it so they could blackmail you and then send those images to someone as well to break their heart because there could be someone that thinks very highly of you and they are trying to dishonor dishonor you you see like the world does not want to come out they may have been trying to dishonor you so they can have images of a to send to this person that thinks very highly of you so that when they see it they'll say oh my gosh i thought this person was of high honor like it will crush this person there's something where it's that they wanted to crush someone's heart like you think this person is of high honor let's show let, let's show you what it is they do behind the scenes this is really how this person is but they would have done it in a way where this man would have never known that this was a setup uh this was something that was forced on you you didn't you didn't want to be part of it or something like that but your ancestors are watching you and the reason why these people are going through some type of conflict and a lot of shocking events are taking place behind the scenes is because one they don't know exactly who it is they're trying to set up who they're trying to destroy there's something about an energy out here a star sea like worker energy out here your like your lineage does not play about you even if you would have left your house that day to go towards that event, something would have happened where you wouldn't even make it or something would have happened to the people that were intending to do something to you. Like either on their way there, they would have ended up in an accident or someone would have passed, like you're passed away in their family. Like your lineage does not play about you. And I don't think these people realize that what they've gotten themselves into. They could be now... With this three of swords, eight of swords out here, it's a lot of conflict going on or a lot of crying, a lot of argument because these people are trapped in something that they try to get you trapped into. I'm also hearing something about like a court case, some type of uh, frivolous, uh, just ridiculous court case. They were trying to have you stuck in, maybe even telling people uh, something I'm hearing is that they will have uh, recorded something um, of them dishonoring you and then go and show that to the court system or something um, or show it to someone in the court system is a setup so that they can say that you've been passing some type of illness to other people maybe you don't even have this illness um, but they will have been telling people look I told you like this is how this person lives and this is what it's been doing they're the one passing on this uh, illness to other people they slept with me they slept with him they slept with him they slept with her all kinds of stuff right um, so this was a whole set up to have you trapped, bonded, because someone is getting paid for doing something behind the scenes and they get the, 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 the bulk of the money once they have you locked up. But you're never going to see the inside of a prison cell. You're never going to see the inside of a jail. God forbid to fiat quad should that ever happen to you. That is not your calling. That is not your portion in life. We're not speaking that into existence in on. Uh, in any of our light workers life this is your energy meant to be free okay meant to be free out here very abundant right free to be used protected secure someone of high honor i'm telling you supported by the universe uh growth this is all your portion growth acceleration abundance support from the spirit realm someone of high honor and integrity uh someone who's you know things move in the right direction for you destiny plays out for you no matter how long it takes and things like that you're someone who's a thinker and an investor right you invest in the things that matter to you you're someone very wise knowing very mature i heard mature for your 
your age. So you could be someone that's younger than a lot of these people that are trying to do this to you. I know, I don't know if you all watched my videos where yesterday or the day before I woke up and I heard a man's voice saying that you're the youngest person that they've done this to or tried to do this to. And that's because there's someone within a, 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 con, a community that's not going along with what it is these people are doing, but they don't know it because someone has, someone is playing their part and we're not going to even look into that person, whatever it is they're doing, maybe they're doing it for a reason. They found a way to make it through some type of situation that they are in. One, for their protection and security, and two, for your protection and security. But when I say I heard someone's voice loud and clear, like literally, I had just, I was like in the waking state and I heard a man's voice. He said, you're the youngest person they've ever done this to or tried to do this to. And that let me know that there's something going on behind the scenes where it's like a group of older people, either a group of older men or women that are trying to do someone something and have them set up in a way that just uh, is unholy. Like what I picked up on is disgusting, like just wickedness, maliciousness, okay? But as you can see, they're fighting because they're trapped in this situation. Someone may even be going to the penitentiary. Like someone is destined to go to jail or prison. I heard like uh, about a warlock, I believe, that's going to be locked up for a very long time. Someone may end up being locked up for the rest of your time in this lifetime. Um, but someone um, is absolutely, oh Lord Jesus, someone is absolutely unhappy, disappointed behind the scenes. Someone may be in some type of time out. They're unhappy because they were not able to trap you. They were not able to, you know, uh, uh, restrict you and things like that. These are people, their way of restricting and confining you is by playing with your finances, making sure that you don't get what it's yours. So they may have been trying to stop your forward movement. Have you feeling uh, unsafe and uncomfortable in your environment and things like that? And they're unhappy because instead of them happy, instead of that happening to you, it's happening to them. So these people have trapped themselves in some type of contract situation that they <clears throat> cannot get out of. And there may be someone they're trying to keep trapped as well with them. Um, and they can't, this could be a man or a woman. Maybe this is like a king of wands or whatever, whoever this is. Uh, they're trying to keep someone trapped in a community, in a relationship, but whoever this is, someone is going to move on when they want to. Um, there's a King of Cups out here as well. Oh, are they unhappy because they were not able to trap a King of Cups that he left the situation? Kudos for him. Someone is listening to their intuition. Someone is listening to their intuition. These people may be pissed off because a King of, oh yeah. Oh, dang, a match. These people may be pissed off because a King of Cups is leaving a situation. There could be a a, a, um, a woman that he's with that's trying to hold on to him, keep him. Um, this is you and this man that are showing up as a match is what I'm picking up. But he could be with someone that presents themselves to be a Queen of Cups in the upright. But this is someone karmic with this Four of Pentacles showing up after her. This is someone that does a lot of manipulations and things like that. And I think this woman typically will be in her Queen of Pentacles energy because she may have been with this man for money with the Four of Pentacles showing up out here. But she will show up as a Queen of Cups because of the manipulative tactic that she's been playing more than likely taking on this compassionate role, this genuine role, this nurturing role that's not naturally hers. So she's going to show up as they, but as you, but as you can see, <clears throat> the universe, be, <clears throat> excuse me, oh, sis, don't want her business out here. <clears throat> oh, oh, <laughs> sis does not want her business out here, but as you can see the universe, uh-huh. The universe is not playing around. They're exposing this woman. This is someone playing a role as a queen of cups. She's not genuinely a queen of cups. If she is a queen of cups, she's the queen of cups in reverse. The four of pentacles typically has to do with you being in an unhappy relationship in certain situations when it pertains to relationships. Like someone is trying to keep you trapped, keep you stuck. 
you feel confined within this relationship. There's no wiggle room for you to breathe. You just want to breathe the Tony Braxton, but someone does not want you to breathe. You're living in fear. You have maybe some type of trauma you've gone through uh, in this relationship, and you just want to get away from this person. As you can see, we have the Eight of Swords out here and the Three of Swords. They're fighting really hard to keep this man trapped in the past. Um, but And they're afraid of him making some type of decision to move on and build a Ten of Pentacles elsewhere with a genuine Queen of Cups in the upright. And that's exactly what's going to happen. Someone will be going for it when the time is right. Um, but just know there are people trying to block him from coming towards you. If you are the Queen of Cups in the upright, in the light working community, this man wants to relocate and test some type of new, uh, some type of fresh start in his life. Okay? So... Uh, whatever this is, baby, it's plain out like it's supposed to. It's plain out like it's supposed to. When you and this person, I don't know if you end up together whenever, whatever. I really don't care. That's your old business. This sun came out sideways. So I am going to put it out in the reverse. Um, but these people, yeah, it, it will make sense. Because the, the, the four of pentacles can't have to do with holding on to something, keeping something, it's trapping something. So they're trying to keep the truth from coming out. They don't want someone seeing the truth of what it is. The truth is being illuminated, but there's a queen of cups reverse in a situation trying to hide the truth. She doesn't want people seeing it for what it is. So this is someone doing a lot of manipulations behind the scenes, okay? This could also be like a Bonnie and Clyde duo on another end. They are working really hard together to keep the truth from being exposed. Uh, they're in some type of toxic relationship. They don't want people seeing them for who it is that they are. They don't want people seeing and knowing that they're not really happy together. I mean, they are showing up as a match. So I don't know why exactly they wouldn't be happy together. Maybe there's a lot of lies, a lot of cheating, a, a lot of dishonesty honesty in the relationship with the sun in the reverse yeah there is something going on yeah these people feel very burdened and weighed down they're unhappy because you're not confined you're coming out of some type of uh i think you are more so coming out of some type of mental imprisonment because there was something these people were doing around you that maybe you may have fell for for a while and now it's just that okay you're doing the same thing over and over when you when the when the cycle is over all you're doing is starting it over and it's not having any effect what are you doing excuse me but there's something where it's that they want to keep you stuck in the past whether it's your mental your emotions or maybe they want you to go back to the past go back to someone and you are absolutely not doing that you're choosing to move forward and have some type of brand new passionate beginning. You're knocking on these doors of opportunities to see what opens up basically is what it is you're doing. They're trying to weigh you down. They're tired. They're burdened. It's like people are trying to weigh you down, but they themselves are more weighed down. Think of like a group of people coming up or a karmic couple just going all out or a queen of cups reverse just going all out trying to cause havoc in your life. She wants you to give up on your work. She wants to tire you out. This is why we have the three of swords with the ten of wands in the reverse. Someone is heartbroken because they've done everything to tire you out, but they're the one that's tired. It's that when is this mother effort going to stop? I don't do everything you can think of to stop this mother effort from moving forward. But he's waking up. She's waking up every day and moving on. It's still working. What the heck is going on? Why are they showing up in a positive energy and things like that? Is my magic not working? I guess it must not. Someone has met their match when it comes to some type of situation. Someone has always got in their way when it comes to taking from other people, causing stagnations and blockages, manipulating other people about specific energies. But she has met her match and maybe someone cannot hang or maybe someone is being blocked out of your energies. Maybe people are just tired of this woman whatever it is someone is being blocked out of your energy and she may feel very pissed off about it that she does not have access to something anymore i don't know what this is but this is karma i said karma split my deck the tower this is karma playing out there could be a woman behind the scenes this could be someone's mother someone's wife ex-wife that may be going through some type of tower maybe some type of a uh, uh, um, big review i don't know what it is that's going on some type of realization is going on that two people will be coming together and this is something everybody has been trying to stop and this you know i don't want to uh, um seclude this to just something that has to do with a relationship this some this is something that has to do with destiny people don't want some type of destiny playing out because two people you the king of cups queen of cups 
uh, and you would, you two will only show up in those energies because of your emotions for one another. Um, there's some type of destiny that has to do with a lot of abundance, a lot of healing and things like that. And people are jealous because they will have no attachment to this abundance once it is being manifested, once it is manifested, okay? Now, mind you, these people have the ability to go and build their own things and manifest their own, you know, uh, abundance and things like that. But they more so want to invest their time, energy, efforts, and resources in blocking other people's destinies and abundance. And sis looks like she's struggling out here because she's been paying a lot of money to people to cause you blockages and hide the truth hide you basically hide your work and they want to hide you for so long that you feel worn out and tired that you just give up and leave something and just drop it by the wayside and say i don't feel like going on anymore i can't do it anymore but your ancestors said they got her she she got them effed up in one in too many ways because they're going to keep making sure that you show up either to your nine to five your business your platform wherever it is you're supposed to be your destiny Miss 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 Lady Man, they want you to know you got them effed up in one and too many ways. Okay, so you just stay put because some type of karma is about to play out for you. I don't know if she's planning on taking some type of action that's gonna backfire. Uh, someone keeps taking like these really malicious actions and she thinks it's going to lead to some type of victory for her and it's not going to lead to victory for her i told you this man is walking away someone is leaving he's leaving something out in the cold they may have been trying to burden this man this is like being in a situation or a work environment where it's like they're giving you a lot of responsibilities to keep you way down and burdened like they don't want you moving forward uh they want to keep you busy and doing things that just don't really need to be done so that your mind is not doing what it is it's supposed to do like self-actualizing they don't want you thinking about the queen of stuff that you want to be with um so they're going to keep giving you all kinds of tasks trying to kind of bully you in a way where it's that you, by the end of the work day or in your life or whatever you like at the end of the day you just feel tired, beat down. You don't even have the energy to think about the Queen of Cups that you want to be with. There's something like that displaying on. It's not working. This man is still moving on. Like you all need to learn how to leave people the heck alone. They're in competition with this man with for his destiny. What, what is wrong with these people? Actually, <laughs> that's why we have this Ten of Wands in the reverse. They're trying to weigh someone down to the point where. They just give up. They're doing it to the feminine. They're doing it to the masculine. Like, they just want you two to just give up. Like, I don't feel like going anymore. I don't feel like posting anymore. I don't feel like making products anymore. I don't feel like doing hair or nails anymore. I don't feel like designing anymore. It's not going to happen. These people are about to be so upset. Because he's still going to be moving on. And even if he does not end up with the Queen of Cups that he wants to end up with, he's still moving on. This man is meant to be abundant. So wherever he goes, as long as he's with a high vibrational energy like himself, he's going to be abundant. It's just like the specific abundance he's supposed to have with this queen of cups. It may not be what it is he manifests because there's something about their two lineages coming together. Um, but he, he's still going to be abundant. Someone is going to be set for life for generations to come. Okay. So you are doing something in vain. Shit. Crazy. Yeah, they're they're trying to they're trying to stop him, confine him from moving on with his life. Trying to keep him burdened, way down. Said, so don't send that communication. Don't talk to her. Don't think about her. He said, no, he's leaving. And they're so mad he's he's leaving. Like he's, they're mad he wants to balance something out. They're mad he wants to communicate with you. They're mad he wants, they're mad this man even holds you on a pedestal. Like someone has a lot of respect for you. They admire you, admire what you do, how you carry yourself. You're like a, 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 a straightforward person, quick way to very direct. That queen of source energy, it bothers them that you're in that energy, but he likes all of that. Someone sees you as wish fulfillment, and this man will be having wish fulfillment. If someone was in a relationship, he's single now. I'm telling you, he's leaving. He's leaving. So you're trying to figure out, like, when the heck do I get the heck up out of here? And chuck those deuces up, and he's out. Sir, go on, live your life. Go on and live your life. 
someone knows whoever he wants to be with is an actual empress pulls her in a high regard it's not i'm telling you it holds, holds her in a high, high regard did i not say something about this woman being a queen of pentacles what is this this is the queen of pentacles reverse that came out by the way this is someone misrepresenting herself the and she's misrepresenting herself why because she knows this man wants to leave so because she knows he wants to leave now all of a sudden she's a queen of cups never been a queen of cups towards this man this is a woman that's financially motivated everything i said about her is being confirmed with this queen of pentacles showing up right beneath her this is someone that's financially motivated she's not even the queen of pentacles in the upright she's the queen of pentacle reverse meaning this is not someone that's grounded this is not someone that's nurturing this is not someone that's the typical that should be like the wife figure she's not a good wife not a good mother this is someone that's selfish and she's going through some type of financial like. And I'm telling you, the universe is very crafty on how they humble people. This woman is going through a four of pentacles right now. This is someone that had money in the past, right? And there's something malicious she's been doing behind the scenes that has cut up to her. And she don't went from being abundant with the sun out there. She used to be abundant before. The sun is in the reverse. The queen of pentacles is in the reverse. The four of pentacles is out here. This woman is going through it. Or this is what she's about to go through. This is why she's trying to hold on to this masculine because this is her bag. Okay? <laughs> Girl. <laughs> I do have that. Uh-uh. That, that four of pentacles is out here for a reason. This woman is not a genuine queen of cups. Queen of freaking pentacles in the reverse. Trying to hide it too. But he knows. He knows. He knows. He knows what this woman is. And I'm telling you, she wants this man to give to her. Damn. Someone cares about money and money only. He ain't worth a dime to her. <laughs> as far as emotions, she don't give two S about this man. She don't give like care about his emotions, his feelings. This could be something that emasculates men, talks to them like talk to them like any kind of way talks down to them, plays on your emotions. If she knows he feels insecure about something, she brings it up more than she should. She never really should. But this is someone that, mis that, that manipulates in that kind of energy. That she knows you are bothered by something. Maybe you had some type of hard experience in your life. She'll use that against you. Bring it up. Someone that, someone that you know you can trust someone by the way they treat or handle the things you tell them in, con in, in confidence. Like you confide in someone, you see them as a confidant, but then when something happens, every time something comes up, they're bringing up what it is you told them. That's not someone that you should be trusting. So this is someone I'm picking up on that manipulates ways that she plays on your emotions and your mental. So if you had some type of hard experience growing up, she's going to bring that up every time she thinks you're leaving or something goes wrong. You two have a misunderstanding. Um, she'll bring it up. That's why that happened to you. She she ain't gonna want to date you. You you used to be that. You used to be this. You did this. You went to jail. You did like what kind of energy is that? Don't bring that up. Like you know someone is insecure when they do things like that, especially when the, you know how hard it is for men to confide into people because we've programmed them as society to be unemotional. We've programmed them to be emotionally unavailable. So for them to open up to people is extremely hard. So if a man goes out of his way to trust you with his secrets, shut your mouth. Like, keep that to yourself. Don't be out here, like, using it against him, embarrassing him and things like that. Like, you got to be ashamed of yourself. But if someone that does this to a man, she misuses his trauma, that is sad and pathetic as heck. Sad and pathetic. Then they're out here while she's about to be going through life. She's upset because someone wants to come and take you maybe out of a four of pentacles into a six of pentacles. Or you could be a nine of pentacles energy and someone is coming to give to you, which is going to put you in a ten of pentacles. Meaning your business could be, th this could be something that has to do with business or it's going to start as business or something and go into something else. But someone is very jealous. Just jealous. Yeah, he's coming. He's coming, darling. Listen, Starcy, Earth Angel Baby, don't you worry. Him is coming. Him is coming. <laughs> him is coming. I'm telling you. Him is coming. Watching you. Oh, he's watching you. Yeah, they were trying to hide you. 
They don't want the truth. They don't want the truth being illuminated. So they were trying to hide you, hide, hide the truth. Someone sees you. They know where you are. They know where you are. I'm telling you, they know where you are. And nothing they can do about that. He he sees you. Yeah, they've been, oh my gosh. This woman feels burdened. She's working hard trying to pay someone to take some type of action to stop your uh, investments. Keep you waiting and waiting and waiting. Every time he takes action, they're doing something as well to manipulate him to keep waiting and waiting. Dang. <clears throat> you really got somebody out here depressed. You got a whole groupie out here. Dang. That word has been coming out a lot on this channel. There's something about a groupie. Someone is a groupie of another female. Or like an ex is a groupie. It could be man or woman. But someone is your groupie, like your number one fan. And people are seeing that. And it's sad. They're they're laughing at someone. Dang. Like literally someone is a groupie of yours. And you may not even know, but this person is obsessed. But baby, this th th these shocking events are gonna keep taking places. You say, oh, oh, I'm supposed to trap him. Why is he not trapped? Why is he still happy? Why is he still self-actualizing? He's not supposed to be thinking. He should be feeling burdened and overwhelmed right now. He should be living in fear. This woman is afraid of you receiving some type of communications from this man. It's something where they're even blocking communications, like your emails, phone calls, text messages. There's something like that. They're trying to block. Or oh, she's already taking action to block. Yeah, baby, please. <laughs> this man's about to go from being single to being married. About to jump the broom. Oh, yeah, he's about to jump the broom. And they're trying to, oh, dang. And that's going to put you right into that karma in the center. If he leaves me, I'm going to have nothing. I can't pretend anymore. Like, she's been doing all kinds of tricks. Jumping on one toes. <laughs> doing backflips. That's, that's as far as her trying to keep him. She's going to start cooking, cleaning, things she never did before. <laughs> If he leaves me, I'm not going to have anything. She's not going to tell him, though. What she's going to tell people is, I'm trying to save my marriage, and she's causing problems in my marriage. Uh, first of all, who you're coming after don't even know you, by the way. <laughs> They're not even out here. So how did you... A sister don't know you from... Adams, and she don't give two apps about your marriage. She's all the way somewhere else minding her business. <laughs> and you're out here telling lies. I'm trying to save my marriage. Your marriage is between you and your partner. How is it that someone else? How can you say someone else is trying to destroy your marriage? They don't know you. Your marriage is between you and you, right? If your marriage is falling apart, that means you didn't do your part. Or maybe he didn't do his part. Or maybe this is just time for you two to separate. Maybe he's tried to work it out with you. Because typically that's what you're supposed to do. When a marriage is falling apart or a relationship is falling apart. You're supposed to do everything you can to make it work. If you've done everything you can and it didn't work out. Then you chucks the deuces up. You say, listen, have a listen, listen, listen. I used to love you, but I don't anymore. Goodbye. Okay? You're not supposed to be trying, you're, when he says or she says goodbye, you're not supposed to be trying to force them to stay with you. That's a miserable existence. You really want to wake up every day with someone hating you? They just don't, they, they, the very sight of you repulses them. You really want to go through that every day. Every time they see you, they feel disgusted. Every time you open your mouth to talk, they feel disgusted. Every time you breathe. You know, it becomes one of those situations that, why are you chewing? Why are you even breathing? Why are you breathing like that? Why are you saying yes or no like that? Why are you even walking? Who walks like that? Just all, like, they just hate every. You really want to be in that situation because that's what it's going to turn into with this man. About to not like the sight of you. 
He ain't giving a dime to you. We're going to pay these bills together. And that's it. I don't got no money for you. Baby, oh yeah, this man knows what it is you are about. Yeah, baby, uh, girl, I don't know what to tell you, but he's moving on. Right to victory. Straight to victory. Straight to victory. You really want someone out here. <clears throat> Just hating the very existence of you is what I say. Because that's what's going to happen. You don't want from the Queen of Cups that you were pretending to be to the Queen of Pentacles reverse, going through karma, still trying to plot someone's ending. What's wrong with you? And you just want to end up right back in the same trap that you was trying to set for somebody else. And you're heartbroken. What you heartbroken about? Because he's moving. Girl, you know people care about you when they're happy for your growth. Right? Your upgrade. You don't even want a man to be seen, heard, or nothing. And the person he's going towards, you don't even want them to be seen, heard, or nothing. And it's all because of jealousy. Jealousy, jealousy. We don't care, we don't care. <laughs> yeah. Man. This is like a different level of insecurity and immaturity. Someone is just maturing in age, but the number... I mean, in, uh, yeah, in number, in age, number, right? But the mindset and the emotions for these people that I picked up on is so sad. It's so sad, y'all. It is so sad. Like, you, you imagine someone in their 40s, their 50s, 30s, 60s, 70s doing something low vibrational like this, coming together to block someone else's life, their abundance, because they want to hold on to some type of false persona. We're happy together in this community. We're happy together in this relationship. Whole time it's a whole situation. He does what he wants. She does what she wants. But publicly they're happy together. Uh, the, co the company, nobody wants to be there. But the benefits are top notch. So, you know, they just stay and put up with it. Uh-huh. It's something like that. It's something like that. Yeah, they're trying to be, These people are determined. She is paying. She she said, I want to keep paying. And I want to keep paying someone to stop her from being seen. I'm going to keep paying for stop someone from, to stop someone from uh, him being seen. I want them hitting. And you're running low on money. So how long are you going to keep doing this? It's going to get to a place where girls is about to get real hard for you to pay your phone bills. Your internet and all of that. You won't be able to pay. You won't. You're uh, paying someone to stop other people. Won't even be on your bucket list. Because on your list of things to do. Your your list of priorities. Uh, you may want to prioritize your life. Because something is about to get real funky for you. Real funky. But anyways folks. I'm going to leave it there. Thank you for watching the Ascended Divination Priestess channel. I'll see you in my next read. Goodbye for now.